People are probably gonna complain because this thing might be turned like the wrong way. Yeah. But we're doing the best we can with what we got. Yeah. We're at the Hyundai booth. We're getting ready to compete for the first and only Beat Dirt Perfect competition. Yep. There's our MC right there. Bill, yep. you gotta say hi. Oh. You're Hold in charge. Here. Howdy, folks. I don't know if anybody's watching, but we're live. Oh, good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Mike's gonna take on 10 of the best mini excavator operators we've seen here this so week. So my odds are like, what? What's one of 10, 10%? Uh, I, I, think, I think there's two or three guys that'll give you a run for the money and anything could happen. It's like a Sunday, anything could happen. <laughs> Let's make it happen. We got uh, tractor time with Tim, snuck in. Matt from Diesel Creek back there lurking in the background. Oh, we gotta get the real celebrities Man, on. Everybody came oh, out here to you. watch you lose. I didn't see you were so short. Everybody came out here to watch you lose, didn't Well, they, they paid me a lot of money to not know I'm joking. Let's go. <laughs> All right, you're you're in uh, charge of my people. Yes, I am. You're not am. screwed up, my people. I'm sorry, people. It's yeah. Rough ride. yeah. <laughs> I took it easy last night. I'm not shaking too bad. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn you around the other way so I don't have All to look right. at you. All right. See, they're much they're much better looking oh, people. There we go. Hey. Well, <laughs> yeah, we got quite a few people watching actually, surprisingly, hey. and we got comments. Cheer with him, against him, he don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, hey, this is this. This is oh, this yeah. is possibly a sponsored live, so we got to avoid the last I'm night conversation. Was, <laughs> I'm just I'm just glad there's no live camera. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, guys, I apologize. Your screen is in portrait, not landscape. You're gonna have to blame iPhone and our ability to do that. Yeah. I'm handing them off to you. All right. Take good care of my people. All right, here we go. Here we go. Any last words? All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go over and show the belt. This was uh, personally designed. This is the machine that they'll be running. All right. I might have to squeeze by Susan and Bill here. Hey, they want to see that belt. Bill, Susan, which one do you want to try it on? Oh, yeah. So this is the belt. And it's the real deal. I didn't think I, I didn't know that thing weighed like 25 pounds. <laughs> Yeah. All right. There we go. That's it right there. <laughs> wait, wait. Man. Yes. Yes. That is beautiful. You got it down. <laughs> so that is the belt that everybody's going to be competing for. I mean, I just, I wasn't allowed to do it or I would have took it from him. Get close up. There it is. All right. Now go over and kind of show the course here so what we've got is you want me to walk you through? yeah i'm gonna let you do this because you know this better than i do so what everybody has to do is they come through here everyone has the same starting position they're then going to take the bowling ball and navigate it over up and over through the cones Okay. And what would prove to be the most uh it, it required the most skill and precision yesterday you come and grab the iron with a tire, lift the tire up, and you've got to navigate that tire through this PVC structure without knocking any of the softballs off the spires. Each so uh, softball knocked off is a 10 second penalty. Mike just got it. Oh, 10 second penalty. We're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and put that on the score. You should have never done that. That's what happens when you try to play smart. Yeah. So Yeah, now you can't. Oh, but you got a 10 second penalty because the other one came off. There we go. Let's give him 45 seconds. Yeah, he is. Uh, intentionally knock the four softballs off, come over, scoop the basketball up, get him going with the big garbage can, which we're not going to make this easy on people. No. See what you can do. There you go. Yeah. The basketball into the five gallon bucket. Then we've got a hoop that's not on here right now. Assess 10 second penalties for each softball unintentionally dropped. And if you fail at a task, and I am the judge, uh, that's a 15 second penalty for each failed task. So 
We have oh, oh, oh. competitors. The top qualifiers yesterday completed the course between 125 and 225. So that's what we're up against today, and we'll see how Mike can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, we, Bill, we cannot forget about these penalties we just had with him. I'll, I'll make sure we don't forget them. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. We'll see how far Yep. Yes. So yes. So basically, somebody brought it up. Oh no! It's. I'm trying to hold it still. I'll put my other hand on. Uh, so somebody mentioned something in the comments about this rain coming in. Is this a rain or shine, or is this rain or shine? Did you bring me a raincoat? That's what I thought. Oh, yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. 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 Now. Oh. The top finisher, whether it's or not. Gets to take home Watch the first Watch ever. <laughs> we got to keep it open, Mike. The top finisher, whether it's Mike or not, takes home that first ever Dirt Perfect Championship belt. The coolest piece of swag you'll find at Utility Expo 2023. Mike, while we got you here and we've got a bit of a, a crowd around us, any thoughts? We've got a couple of the finalists have gathered around. Any thoughts here this morning as we're about to embark on these finals? So here's what I think it's going to come down to. we got 10 awesome finalists. They proved themselves yesterday. they got skills. I think it's going to come down to who can have just a little bit of luck on their side. A little bit of luck. We saw yesterday when people grabbed that T-bar with a tire on it, depending on the geometry and how you jostle that bucket, that could determine your entire run and your entire time. Now, now Bill, I'm not going to sit here and tell you all the techniques you need to get through there because that would be a disadvantage to me. So I think we just need to line them up and go. We're going to get going. We're going to get going here. I see our first two competitors, Mr. Jared Ellis and Mr. Gabe Mitchell, are here. Give us just a few moments, folks. We're going to make sure the course is set, and we'll get our first challengers into the cab. Thank you all. <laughs> Don't worry, Bill. You're not mic'd up. He's on his best behavior, folks. Yeah. We gotta watch Bill. We don't have editing power. Hey, look at right this. Now. They wanna see my smiling face. Huh? You believe that? Yeah, well, you can hit that button right there. Oh, and they can, can see I? you. Let me see how's this right button. There. That one right there. Yeah. Oh, 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 there, oh, there it is. No. Yeah. <laughs> now oh, I gotta remember boy. to turn that back around yeah, before yeah, we get yeah, started. That's not what they come here to watch. <laughs> Farmer all Chris right, guys. is on there. Shouldn't Farmer Chris be out in the field somewhere? That's what I was wondering. So. Yeah, all these crops he's got to get in, rain on its way, right, yeah. and, and he's out here playing yeah, on YouTube. Oh, man. Hey, somebody. Oh. So Ladies Farmer Chris thinks Jared's going to take the win this year. Where is Jared? Oh, there he is. Yeah. Jared Ellis. Jared, what made you come out here uh, to participate in the comp uh, competition here this week? Sounds like a good idea. <laughs> like so many things in life, it yeah. sounds like a good idea at the time. And here he is. He's on the precipice of winning a thousand dollars, and potentially, if he can beat Mike, that championship belt. Any thoughts or questions or concerns before you hop in that machine here this morning? No. Good luck. <laughs> Jared Ellis, man of many skills, maybe few words. <laughs> Jared, if you want to take a moment, turn that machine on, and you can take a minute or so. Boy, you look like you're getting nervous here, huh? Starting to get quiet. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, huh? All right. This is going to be the benchmark time right here. Yep. You ready? You got your watch out just to make sure that Bill ain't going to. Okay, you going to trust him? All right. Man, this is so much easier to record with a GoPro versus this phone. All 
All right, everybody, Jared, just like yesterday, I'm going to count down from three and give you the very explicit direction to go. When I do, that's your signal to pick up that bucket and set that course record here, that, that premium course benchmark this morning. Jared, I'm going to count down from three, three, two, one, and go. On to the tire iron. Well done, Jared. As a reminder, folks, if Jared knocks any softballs off during this element, that is a 10 second penalty per softball. As we saw yesterday, this stage is all about bucket geometry and how you're moving that tire through the PVC structure. Jared isn't scared. Look at that. Jared's going to set that tire down now in the orange circle, and he's going to knock off each of those softballs intentionally now. Any softball that falls off unintentionally is a 10-second penalty. Jared is moving through this. He has no fear. Three down, no penalties. Four down, off to the basketball grab. Oh, he is treating that cone poorly. And let's see if he can sink his shot. He oh. does it. There's a 15-second penalty on to the ring grab. There's the ring now. You can see it. There he is, very smooth with that ring grab. He's going to put a ring on it here. I need a new joke. That was my oh. joke yesterday. He dropped the ring, but this is his opportunity to grab it. Or he can take the penalty. But Jared likes to finish when he starts. Oh. Yep, they're going to take the penalty. We're going to take it. Jared's time today, natural time 201 with two 15 second penalties. It's going to put him at 231.64. Nice run, Jared. In just a few moments, we'll have our second finalist of the day, Mr. Gabe Mitchell. Ruger Farming, I'm going to agree with you. I think he's got some tight challenger, challengers up here, and look at who he is. He's getting nervous. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Look at these guys. Hey, how you all doing today? Oversleep? Maybe a hair. Maybe a hair, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. Got a little sore. Yeah. <laughs> Evidently, it was my birthday. April came a lot quicker than I thought. <laughs> oh. I think he's getting nervous. He's over there getting nervous. Yeah. 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 He, he, look at him over there. He just. <laughs> look, yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey, look. An airplane. Somebody was asking on here. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, everybody's wanting to know where Let's Dig's at. Is he getting in this competition or did he get scared? Yeah. Is anybody still watching your camera work? How do I tell? All right, so 617, is that it? Oh, no, I just jumped up 10. That's how good I am. I'm at 627. <laughs> Uh, talk about that bull riding, you now, fans come out. yeah, yeah, talk about that bull riding. Supposed to be video in the competition. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, we're getting over. I just wanna, I just wanna see. No, you getting sidetracked. I get sidetracked. Uh, did we had of the day yesterday, Mr. Gabe Mitchell, 
Gabe is from Bloomington, Indiana. Gabe, tell the folks a little bit about who you are and why you're here. Well, so I started doing excavating whenever I was about 10. I uh, worked with my neighbor running an excavator, a little excavator, a little excavator business. And then freshman year of high school, I uh, started my own little company, tried that a little bit, and I got the opportunity to go learn on someone else's time. And uh, he's a lot the sewer water, building infrastructure, and residential construction. And what are you, uh, again, you're, you're very young in your career here. What does the future hold for you? Well, I'm hoping to be uh, self, fully self-employed by the time I'm 22. Fully self-employed by the time he's 22. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, uh, oh, are you here to talk? Hold on, hold on. Mike, Mike has something to say. I'm still in the right, Bill. So I had Dave and a few other guys that come up to me yesterday, young guys, and talked about how watching our videos and what we do got them interested in the trades. That is one of the things I am very, very, very passionate about. And this young man right here is one of the reasons I do what I do every day. There is nothing wrong, and we should be proud about what we do being out here to be trade workers. So thank you. Thank you for giving us an opportunity. For what I'm here, you might be the guy to be. Thank you, Mike. Dave, I think he might have been trying to kill you with kindness there. I think he might have been trying to soften you up a little bit. That could be a plan. I don't know. But no, it's true. It's true. It's great to see young young men like you getting into trades early and, uh, and being already pretty darn good at it. Why don't you hop in the machine, familiarize yourself with the controls again, make sure it's in the pattern you want, and swing it back around the start point, and we'll get started. Hey, Gabe, just block him out. Just block him out. Don't even look at him. <laughs> Well. Yeah, he is. Man, I think you're starting to shake like me. <laughs> uh, he disappeared. Oh, he's hiding back here in the back. Okay. While Gabe is taking a moment to familiarize himself with the controls here, he's operating one of the brand new HX Series Compact Excavators from Hyundai Construction Equipment. This HX 48 is officially available here now in North America. I can figure it out. Along with the two additional models here, the 40 and the 38, you guys can operate here throughout the week. Gabe, how are you feeling about uh, giving it a run? We're going to do the same thing as we did yesterday. I'm going to count down from three, and I'm going to tell you to go, and as you do, you give it everything you've got. All right, Gabe, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Got to be careful with that cone. A knocked over cone is a penalty. He's got it in position. And he's got the ball where it needs to be. All right, onto the tire. He's got a good grab of that T-bar with the tire. He's moving very carefully towards the PVC structure. Look at that. Smooth as silk. All right, Gabe, set it on down. And now it is time to intentionally knock those softballs off each of the four corners. 10 second penalty for each softball that drops unintentionally. But you give it a smooth little kiss like that and you're gonna be just fine. He's got all four softballs with no penalties. He's on to the basketball. No, he gets it. Oh! Too aggressive. On to the hoop snag. And he dropped it. We're there at a time of 131 50 with two penalties at 15 seconds apiece, that's going to put him at over 201.50. Gabe, nice run, nice run. Any thoughts after you went through it here today? I don't know. Another day at the job site. All right. Chris, you, Chris, he is getting scared. He is getting scared. He ain't talking much. Quietly talking over there. We'll be back with you folks in just a moment.
Hey, he had me worried there for a while. I know he had you worried. You kept getting in his side of you there. I seen that. You, yeah, yeah, playing the game. Well, okay, then I want him out in front of you doing everything you were doing. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right. Everybody, everybody in the comments, everybody in the comments says you look nervous. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it, it is hard. <laughs> All right, let's get back to Chris. Did, did Chris even make it through the tryouts? Uh, I think so he didn't have a good enough time to I'm make it today, didn't he? Question. I'm going to stay out of there. <laughs> you may not have made the call on here. So everybody was asking where Let's Dig is. I'm not going to answer it. I'm just talking. There is a competition. There is, isn't it? Okay. Where can they see that? Aaron Williams. It's going to be on your channel later or anybody's channel, Chris's channel. Luke You'll share it on Facebook. <laughs> so he won't share it. So that means it wasn't so good for him, or you're not, you're not. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just ask Chris. I like that. Chris, who? Exactly. <laughs> Hey, they want to know when you're up. They want to know when you're uh, up in the machine. Make me go last. They're going to make you go last? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, Paul, I would say both. <laughs> and yes, I think. Uh, <laughs> There are more gray hairs popping out. Farmer Chris, you touch my truck, I'll have your dad take care of you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with our third finalist this morning, Mr. Blake Daniels from Franklin, Indiana. Blake, why are you here this week? I just want to take that belt back. Woo! Blake wants oh. He's the first one that has said it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's mine until he wins it. I'm here, I'm here to win it. Blake is here to win it. There's nothing else to say. Blake, hop in that machine and familiarize yourself with the controls. We'll get started here in just a moment. Ray, yeah, uh, Matt was in here somewhere. Uh, let's see if I can find him. I don't know where he went, but yes, he was in the crowd somewhere. Hey, just a guy. Well, he's getting familiarized. They want to know why you ain't in this. I just got a comment. <laughs> You're just in time. Well, like to see he, he Tractor Time with Tim he runs do a it. Machine that is known oh. To be <laughs> that's what I'm that, That's good enough, but I know I'm not that's a smooth. That's just it. <laughs> I don't have near the practice that you guys have. It's, uh, well, it takes, I'm still learning. Every day is learning. Hey, we should do a little bit of commentary here on this, on this particular one. Watch him, watch him play here. He's the first guy to see the really All right, everybody. Uh oh. Mr. Blake Daniels from Franklin. Oh yeah. Are you ready, sir? Now, Are you ready? Give the thumbs up. hey, the you thumbs just stay over here. And quit walking in front of the machine. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one, and go. So, Mike, how about this bowling ball? What are you gonna do for it? What? So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the, maybe the smack and the shove thing. Okay. But see, they, they put There's a, a little bit of different ground geography than we had yesterday. With all the uh, well, we all okay, the the digging down. here at the end of the day yesterday. That'll make it easier for The us. bowling ball yeah. roll is yeah. a little bit of a different yeah. task than it was yesterday. And he's on in the tire grab. He's probably the best one at that so far. And he got a bad tilt with his tooth, but he picks it up confidently, and he's got a strong position. Ooh, he even, he even grabbed it different. He ain't in the middle. He's well to the side. Between teeth. That may be a smart move. And now he's got to smoothly roll that through the PVC structure. Look at that. That was oh. speed. Well done, Blake. Blake, drop that down in that orange circle. 
And then now it's time to knock those softballs off each of the posts. And he's got Beautiful. one with no penalties. He's got two Beautiful. with no penalties. He's got oh, three. Yeah. He's got four. There we he's go. out of the basketball. I don't like I could have done it much better. Let's see if there he you got aggressively it. gets the basketball. Like we said yesterday, this becomes like a game of Plinko. Oh! And he misses. He misses. On to the rope snag. Oh! And he drops it. Blake is going to give it a go. He's going to try to pick it up with the tooth of the bucket. And he's going to lay that on here. I tried practicing the Put a Ring on It song last night. You don't want to hear nice. that. Nice. Yeah, why don't you why don't you just why don't you finish out here, Blake, and we'll confer with the judges on that. Time 157, 157. Ooh. All right, judges are talking now. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, you, I wanna, you watch the national football. Oh, you gotta try to deflate right the ball a little bit? of the catch, which is one of the most controversial rules of the NFL. Dirt Perfect's going to give it to him. We were leaning that way too. He completed the task and then knocked it over. But we do have the penalty for the basketball. So Blake finished with a score of 157. We're going to add 15 seconds to that, which is going to give him a score of 2 2-12-04. Hey, Scott, you may be right on, uh, oh, let's dig. He might be licking his wounds yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he missed the qualifying rounds. Yeah, he did, didn't he? I'm trying to look you here. You still got Eight, people watching? 871, buddy. Holy cow. You got more and more friends all the time. Yeah, that's right. Taking good care of my people? I am trying to. I mean, they should appreciate your camera work. It's what they can't see the, oh, the scenes here. Um, sad part is, is, is somebody is right on here. Some geezer put Aaron can't enter as they can't find his booster seat. <laughs> so very true. They told me I wasn't allowed. <laughs> I'd hate to be the one show him up and take that belt from him. Next up, we've got Aaron Williams, Isaac Snyder, Clay Gilliland. We'll continue the finals here in just a moment. You look, it's starting to get dark in the skies. It looks like it may be a rain, no shine for you. Is that going to change the course any for you? Oh, you automatically win if it rains? Well, I like rain outs. <laughs> huh? Yeah, you draw that turtle in the ground, 10 drops in it, it's over. We're out of here. Scott, I appreciate it. I'm trying to keep this phone steady. Uh, we had GoPro problems this morning. That's why we're using the phone. But I'm trying to keep it as steady as I can. This is a lot harder than I thought it'd be with a phone. They won't let me in the rig, so I didn't even worry about bringing my pink step stool with me. And rain dance, yeah. I, I, could, I could use a rain dance right now. Kurt, that's still to come. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Oh, oh, what are you going to give him? Like 30 seconds because you're scared of everybody or what? All right, we got somebody up here. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We have with us, I'm going to do a little song and dance here until... My friend Jordan gets back out here. All right, we're here with another one of our top ten finalists from yesterday, Mr. Isaac Snyder. Isaac, how was your night last night? It was good. After we left here, we also went to a cake company. Our wedding band is about to sing right. As a man who's maybe a year older than you, you. Put some pressure on yourself, and maybe you don't need this yet. But <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, 
Jeez, I wonder what on a, a skill game with an excavator. But hey, uh, how are you feeling about the contest? Yep. Awesome. How about so, in that machine? Familiarize yourself with the controls again, and we'll get you going here. So I'm going to say he needs to win more than anybody if he just bought a ring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that? So he, he went down to the jewelry store. He's looking at that thousand dollar grand prize. Is that a is that a smart move? Well, well the guy's been hyper for about 15 years. He's a lot of life. He's like most of the way down, but I don't. <laughs> Yeah. And every love story is different, hey, ladies and gentlemen. Every love story is different. You know, he's after it. His wife got new jewelry. Our fiance, he wants new jewelry. He really wants that belt and that $1,000 to help pay for that ring. Yeah. <laughs> Isaac, how you feeling, sir? I got the thumbs up from Isaac. We're going to do just the same thing we did yesterday, Isaac. I'm going to count down from three, and when you hear me say go, you're going to give it everything you got for that $1,000 grand prize. Maybe she'll like a belt, too. A championship belt looks great on a, on a wedding picture. All right. <laughs> we'll let the laugh and calm down. Now we'll go. All right. Isaac Snyder, three, two, one, and go! Again, the ground changed a little bit from yesterday. It's a little more roughed up, a little more uh, undulation there in the ground, but the, uh, he's on to the, he's on to the tire grab. something we saw yesterday as a challenge, but Isaac doesn't care. He is moving confidently and smoothly. Even with that teeth bar hanging off the lip of the bucket instead of between the teeth, it is not affecting him at all. He kissed that PVC, but it was forgiving. He's going to set that down, and Isaac now is going to go and knock off each of those four softballs intentionally. That PPC yesterday in that hot sun here, it warmed up throughout the afternoon, got a little softer, a little more forgiving. So we're seeing fewer unintentional ball drops. Yeah, with authority. He's on to the basketball. Let's see if somebody can get it. He's got the basketball in the bucket. Now let's see how good he is at Plinko. He oh. Gets the basketball onto the ring grab. Give it a go. Nope. Isaac finishes with a time of 126 with two 15 second penalties there, which is going to put him at just under two minutes with a time of 156.41. Isaac, nice run. Thank you, sir. There's your new leader. Yep. Hurt him. Got it. Oh, yeah, new leader. Yours is going to be 201. Point three six. You're gonna go what? Sub two minutes. All right. Uh, I don't know. I don't even see where the battery life is on this thing. Uh, I'm just gonna keep carrying this thing around until it goes off. Daniel Castro was our 11th place finisher yesterday, missing the top 10 by literal fractions of a second. And he's back here today to be a fill in case one of our finalists was unable to show up. Daniel, give us just a moment, sir. I don't think he'll get it in minute 42. I don't think he can do it.
Hey, Kurt, he don't need that air horn. His face is distracting him enough. So not only did Daniel have um, a, a very fast, good run yesterday, Daniel was one of our few perfect runs. Ray, I don't think there's any, I don't think he'll miss that basketball altogether. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. Are you, are you looking to have fun here today? And where are you from, Daniel? Austin, Texas in the house. Daniel, hop on in, get yourself familiar with the controls, and we'll go in just a sec. Do you, do you want to film for a second while I take a drink of water and rest my biceps? Rest your biceps, huh? Our, uh, forearms. Where are my biceps at? <laughs> my biceps, my biceps. Oh, whatever these are. That's all you home. got, huh? Oh, yeah. I didn't realize the phone get that heavy. We got over a thousand you know people on here. Yeah, and you know what? It's a lot easier to use a GoPro than a phone. <laughs> <laughs> get your electronics figured out here, bud. You have to take that over GoPro. What do you think? Think Mr. Texas is going to get us? Like he's got a good chance. I watched him yesterday. So, we'll go over here. All right, Daniel. How you feeling? You feeling good? All right. Just like yesterday, I'm going to count down from three. And I'm going to say go. And when you do, when I do, you Are go. you filming me filming you? Yes, yes. This ready. is always the awkward Two, camera meetings, one, you know. And go. Mike's live on YouTube yeah. right now. Say, so you guys all have to say hi to I dig it for. Yeah, what's up? So you guys, if you haven't, you have to go watch his parody video. <laughs> you do a lot of good videos, so that was my favorite. <laughs> I gotta do another one. You gotta, gotta, you gotta do another one. So try to start digging, Sam. Again, Daniel has one. Oh yeah, it's competition. Yeah. Sorry. Hey, watch what you do. Maybe you make a better cameraman than you do, uh, director. Hey, you're messing up. You're messing up Devin's shot. Sorry. No, you're not bothering me none. I was going to try to just get a quick overview of what was going on for everybody. I'm just beelining right over to me. Look at this guy. He's through and he's going to come. Who's Mr. Diamond Equipment? How are you, Chris? And he's going to move on and knock each of those softballs off one by one. Like the level of competition today. These guys people are stepping up their games from yesterday. Not that people were yeah. bad yesterday, but they are giving it their all today. They've, uh, the basketball. they've been studying the course. They've got it figured out for sure. This seems to be the one that's hanging everybody up right here. It does. People have, have struggled getting the ball in the five-gallon bucket today, which they did it yesterday. Oh, there we go. Uh, Castro, he's all in. He's got a great time cooking. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna say anything too early here yet. Oh, oh, Daniel's gonna put it down. Smart decision to take Smart the penalty. Decision. I was a little slow on the stop button. He went in there at 132, had a 15 second penalty to that. He's gonna be at 148.31. Good run, Daniel. Good run. Nice Thank job, you, nice job. See this is what this is what official camera people look like. So these guys are filming with official stuff, and we're walking around with a busted up iPhone for you guys. You got more followers. Hey, I saved you yesterday. You about got kicked out. You owe me a favor. He was creeping with the camera. I'm like, I'm like, yeah. He was in the he was in the Thunder Creek booth. He was all up inside that thing, and all the Thunder Creek guys are like, who's this dude with the camera? Do we need to get him out of here? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. He don't belong. <laughs> Uh, so these guys here are actually shooting right, an folks, official video, video official video that'll be on the uh, channel at some point. We just wanted to bring it to you guys live, see what's going on. <laughs> hey, there's a bunch of comments that say give the phone back. <laughs> Actually, I forgot. I'm so sorry, guys. I've been glad to see I dig it for. Yeah, who gets sidetracked? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's your safety vest, Mike? That's actually a great question. Uh, you didn't even offer me one. <laughs> here I am out here. Yeah, you got yeah. my life on the line for you, and you don't give me one. Huh? Oh, you, you think the, the green riding is good enough? Huh? Almost I, is. I, yeah, almost yeah, is. Almost, almost yeah, is. Right. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, There's Alexa. She's not even gonna say hi to us. No, uh -uh. You wanna say hi to all my people? Yeah. Look. Hey, say hi. People. We did lives. Of, we did lives we did. the other day. We did. They were awesome. I seen them. Thirteen thousand views so far. Damn. Yeah, crushing and, it. And uh, we were having a discussion earlier about who's winning competitions at the show. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to have anything to say about that? I didn't. Everybody say wants to. He didn't say thinks that editing is. The I cause. don't think you needed <laughs> editing for this one. I think yeah, it was Chris legit. really blew it. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, I'm sorry if you see this. <laughs> Chris, yeah, you Chris, 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 Chris. Do we know Chris? Let's dig 18. I don't think I've ever heard of him. You never heard no, of him? No. Is he a good sound? I've never seen him. He's okay. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, sorry. I got to go back to my little okay. job. Okay, see ya. I'm back, Bill. Don't mind me. Sorry, Bill. He took the camera from me. I'm hanging out with professional film crews with my little bitty iPhone 8. The waiting period? I mean, this is a good time for me to practice, Bill. Just, just three or four runs, see what I got. I don't, I don't think we're gonna do that. Oh, come on! Practice. Everybody in the comments, you got over a thousand people saying, "Let them practice, Bill." I bet. I Actually, bet most of them are not saying that, but <laughs> we're gonna go with it anyways. We're gonna, we're gonna hold tight. I think I see a lot of people here that are probably wishing that they were here yesterday to qualify. Yeah, I know. People itching to get back to seeing. I figured I had a hunch that the basketball was going to be the catch up on this. It wasn't. You know, so there's a couple things today that are happening that didn't happen yesterday. People are having more trouble with the basketball today than they had yesterday. The ring is proving. Yesterday, that was maybe the most problematic of the, the task. I think you got the pole back farther because you can't get the cutting edges flat. It's, it's back. Maybe it oh, no, I've seen your tricks. I've seen your tricks. But then also, interestingly enough, and it, it's just minor changes, but there's a little bit more ground. Uh, and your cones are closer together. The cones are closer together, so everything a little more. So let me get let me get this straight. You went from amateur to professional course, and I never got to run any of them. Well, I think just everybody's gonna have everybody's gonna have two tries at this, and I'm gonna have, I'm gonna go in here cold turkey. Yes, sir. I Let's get the camera crew's I vote. Do you think that's fair? See, camera crew. Jordan? No, exactly. I think, I think when your name is on the belt, those are the challenges those, that you've got to do. I'm going to know who made you let you make the rules. I don't know how I feel I about this. <laughs> that was a bad idea, I, Bill. I question their <laughs> All right, hopefully you guys are having a good time online. I apologize. We're not getting to more of the comments. We're having a blast here. Trying to beat some weather that might be, uh, might be moving in. So, uh, Timothy, man, I appreciate that. Cowboy Car Crushing, how are you doing? It's uh, it's been a good it's been a good time here. Uh, Andrew's been here with us. Chris has been here with us. Uh, Matt from Diesel Creek's been here. Tractor Tom with Tim, I believe, just left. It's uh, it's been a good time. Good time for sure. All right, they want you back. Oh, they want you back. back. You ready right. to take them back? I'll Look, take them back. whenever you gave them to me, yeah, there was nine hundred. I've gained you a hundred people. I don't see a thousand. Huh? I don't see a thousand. Yeah, I'm back now. There will be a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Michael Edwards. I'm gonna disagree with him with you. I think you're forgetting about me putting on there. DP is the best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Hey, Jimmy, how's it going, buddy? I'm, I've got the camera back now. Michael Edwards, uh, I'd be a real close first if I was in this, but he wouldn't let me get I'll in it. I'll tell you it. what, I heard you did a practice run yesterday and you probably would qualify. Maybe, but I didn't want to, you know, and I was even blindfolded. I grabbed that blindfold. Yeah, I was, yeah. And believe it or not, I did that. I did that. I did that without a booster seat. Can you believe that? I think your time was pretty competitive. Yep. Hey, there was some, I got to go back up here. 
Yeah, I got bands that want me to win this. <laughs> oh, no, we're going to time you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Jason. Jason is not one of our finalists, but here as we wait for a finalist or two to arrive for their scheduled times. Jason saw this. He wants to give it a run. Jason, what do you do in the day job? Journeyman Lyman. Journeyman Lyman. And what, what's your interest here in uh, giving this uh, obstacle course a goal? Jason, yeah. get in that tractor, get in that tractor, Jason. Familiarize yourself with the controls, and we'll give the folks here a show. Again, as a reminder, Jason is not one of our finalists. This time will not go into the competition. Jason I tried to get Bill to let me do some practice runs. No, he wouldn't let you do any practice runs. But he's going to let you watch everybody, so that's kind of like uh, giving you practice here. Yeah, Charles, you know how you go to a theme park and you got that, you must be this tall to ride the rides? Well, they have one up over there and I didn't meet it. <laughs> yeah, that yellow rope by Susan, that's what it was. Well, yeah, and I just walk right under it. I like that. All right, here we go. Go back to filming again. All right, Jason, so how this is going to go is you're going to give me a thumbs up to let me know that you're ready. And when you do that, I'll count down from three and tell you to go when I say go. All right, Jason is ready. Thumbs up. Here we go. Now, this is a walk-on. This guy didn't even come in and go through qualifying yesterday. He just got here today. Let's see what he can do. And he is a lineman by trade, so a lineman beating an operator would be, oh, I don't know if I could let that live down. Hey, the gaming ham. Yes, no, he is shaking. And Jeff, I agree. I agree with you on that. There we are, Jason, out of the tire grab. Uh, Making sure we're paying attention. Oh, okay. All you folks hanging around, thank you so much for joining us here today in the Hyundai booth. What you're witnessing right now is an exhibition run of our course here during a minor pause in our finalist competition this morning. Jason's coming to bring that tire now through the PVC structure. And he's gonna see if he can do that without knocking any of those four balls off of any of the corner posts. He's got a little swing to that tire. But so far he's moving through well. He's got that bucket geometry figured out. He's got the tire through and he's gonna go set it down now in that Teresa, orange thank circle. you. I'm trying to do the best I can. And then he's going to come back and he's going to knock each of those four softballs off the corner post intentionally now. And Keith, softball that falls Chris off didn't even make it through qualification yesterday. Penalty. That was a uh, sore subject there. We won't talk about it. I agree with you, Daryl. All I got. There's one. We figure it's not. How much would you guys Cindy, not enjoy no, having someone I do not. With a We're using the phone, so there is no backup mouth. battery. Commenting I'm just going to keep going as long as I day, can. Throughout the day, every day. He's got two down. Hey, Cowboy Car Crush. How Mike, you doing, buddy? Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. it. Yeah.
Yeah, Mike, I bet it's a little different. What's it like being in the seat of a machine and having comments and coming yes, over on a live broadcast? And yes, he is nervous. He is pacing back and forth. Talking, talking back trash. Back and forth. Now he's going to get on the mic again. I'll give the phone to Aaron over there because he's my buffer. But, uh, yeah, these guys have a disadvantage. They got live comments or they got live bill here. You know, I can kind of pick and choose when I want to read the negative stuff. So, but this guy's doing awesome. He is slow and steady. So far, no penalties. We don't want to jinx him here. This is the tricky one, but I think he's got it. That basketball has proved tricky for folks here today. It may be the clouds. It may be a little slight different position of the ground here today. The course is a little tighter than we had it yesterday during qualifying. Jason's going to move on now to the ring grab, and he's going to try to grab that ring. Yeah, cowboy car crusher, I wish you were here. You would, uh, you'd be having fun. Onto the road cone. Next to it. No. Yeah. Oh, he got too aggressive with it. You can either make the choice now, Jason, to try to pick that up. Or you can just bring the bucket over here and put it down and we'll stop the clock. Jason. What you do the back of my shirt? Huh? He's gonna pick that ring up. Just got your badge back here. Oh, okay. Okay. Well somebody said show everybody the back of your shirt. Just the badge, right? Just the badge. Alright. Just make it sure. Just the badge. got an interesting challenge there. There's some degree on the teeth that is going to prevent that from kind of neatly sliding off. But he's giving it, and he might he might have just the right finesse to get that done. Oh, oh I jinxed it. I jinxed it. Jason, why don't you come on over, put your bucket down, and we'll stop the clock there. Jason, nice run, sir. Nice run. Yeah, I'd like to see Jerry and DP in this challenge too. The finalists were still waiting on here today, and we may have a few more exhibition runs here while we're waiting for some of the finalists. Hey, Red Dog, I agree with that. I need to make it down there sometime. I really do. I think you need to do it. Let's let's see if he notices. Just go do it. Just go jump in it. Don't let him see you go over there. Okay, you got it. Clear run. Clear run. You got it. Get in there. Yeah, Darren, I, I can't talk about it. All right, well, we hopefully, uh, hopefully Chris will get on there and uh, explain himself. But uh, yeah. We've got, a, we've got another guy here that uh, he wants to give it a go. He's All right. A very important step of handing his phone to his friends. <laughs> Chase, what brings you to the Utility Expo this year? Uh, we're in the business. We're here to help you guys ship monthly equipment. And I uh, see we run it. So. And Chase, your uh, guy here said that you typically run a little bit of a larger machine. What, uh, uh, how do you think you'll do here in the more compact? Uh, there's a lot of forgiveness on the bigger machines. You can sit there and just throw each other around, but Chase, this is a family show. You just cost me my job with that ass. <laughs> I hope the good folks at Hyundai are forgiving as well. Uh, I'm in the machine. <laughs> I'm in the machine. Familiarize yourself with the controls. I'll be right back with you. 
Charles, we're down at the Louisville Utility Expo show today. Sorry, guys, I'm getting back on here again. Uh, wasn't paying attention there for a minute. Just watching what was going on. Uh, but, yeah, we're down at the Louisville Utility Expo, which is going on today and tomorrow yet. Red Dog, yeah. Yeah, we need, we do need work slide. I ain't seen him. Yeah, yeah, look who's here now. Yeah, what do you guys think? Look at this guy over here. Yeah, who thinks he needs to make a run at this? Gotta get a big old thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> I got confidence in him, man. I do too. Huh? I do too. I seen his egg challenge. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mike. Mike, gentlemen here just had a just just uh, Sir David Hill had a good idea here. Uh, he thinks that if we're waiting, uh, that if we're waiting for additional finals, we should have Aaron give it a run. No. Oh. I ain't doing it. I'm not getting in trouble. Uh, greater good, no, uh, yes, uh, CNC was here yesterday, all day yesterday, and I believe they may have been here the day before, they may have been here Monday too, but I do not believe, I think they left out earlier this morning, came in for about an hour and then headed back. All right, folks, as we're in a break here in the action with our finalist, welcome Chase to the Meat Dirt Perfect. Rob North, uh, we tried it. I think uh, I think uh, DP chickened out. He had his chance. And I do like the gentleman's suggestion. I think we should make Aaron take up our weapon. Chase, are you ready, sir? I'm going to count down from three, and I'm going to say go. When I say go, you give it all you got. Three, two, one, and go. Sorry guys, I'm trying to plug in a wireless charger so we don't lose you. I think you're good to go. You want me to take it over for a minute? Rest your forearm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stretch him out. Balls. <laughs> now he's got it over. Rocky face. These are not, this is the uh, waiting on the last contestant, aren't we? What? So we're waiting on the last contestant. He wasn't one of the finalists, if I remember no, right. This is not Sorry, guys, I'm coming in late. So, Matt, how are you guys doing? Jeff. Actually, uh, Chris is up there right now. Red Dog, buddy. You're always in the comments. He's got that T bar to good position across the team. Now let's see how smoothly. Hopefully, you guys are having fun online. This has been, uh, been a lot of fun. A lot of fun here in person. We're gonna we're gonna ask you to very carefully, yep, raise your bucket and bring that through. All right, and now come on up, set that tire out in the orange circle. 
And then go back and knock each of the softballs off the corner posts. I don't know if Aaron showed you guys. We got uh, comments over there, or Tommy over. Knock them all down. I said, that is cheating. Robert, it is a lot of fun, man. And, uh, Sorry, I was trying to plug in a charger there, guys. The gaming ham. Yeah, man, it's a good, uh, it's a good time. Wish you guys were here. This has been giving people more trouble today than Jeff. Sorry, it's only way to let us go. I apologize. We're in landscape. Chris, is it raining back home? It's just getting ready to start raining here. He's gonna now try to grab the rope ring. Appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Look for me, thank you. Glad you're still here. Thank you, Jill. Appreciate it. I will allow that. Look at the crowd. Look at the crowd we've gathered. This is awesome. I'm going to allow anything until he gets out of the cab. He's got the hoop. He's going to bring it over now and try to put that on the road cone. Slow and steady, Bill. Slow and steady. Slow and steady. Like everything in life. Mike. Sometimes, slow sometimes, sometimes slow and steady wins the race. It does. It does. Or in this case, the competition. But he might do something here that people have been struggling with today, which is getting that rope ring on the rope cone. He has a good angle. Let's see if he's. No, there's no driving. No driving. Technicalities. Technicalities. I see what he was thinking, though. Yeah. And that would have helped. But we have not allowed anyone to try. Oh, to he might game. have her, though. Oh, he's so close. But now this is like yesterday we called it the tin cup effect. You just got to keep trying at this point. For pride. Bragging rights. Bragging rights. All the above. Oh, he got her. Oh, I got too excited there. I might have blown out a speaker. Put her down. <laughs> 423 with one 10-second penalty and one 15-second penalty. We'll put you in about 440 All right, we're getting down to the end here, guys. Hang with us. My run should be coming up. Anytime, we'll see what uh, See what our last run is. Go over and see what these Yahoo's are up to. Now look, I come over here, come over here last time, and I had this guy filming. Y'all come back, and I got this guy filming. <laughs> so perfect. Is this the media? Is this the media corner, or what's going on over here? <laughs> so, Mr. Sam, try to start digging. I'm sure Aaron's probably. I, I have no idea what he's recorded. He said something about his arm being tired. So here I am. Well, they did call him out to go up here and get on the machine. I know they did. I think people would be. I think people. I think would people would actually be surprised at what his time might be compared to some of what we've seen. So. He, he, I think he would have qualified, and we all know who didn't qualify yesterday. Yeah, who do you know? Uh, some some dig it guy. Let's dig it guy. Let's, oh, let's, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Uh, apparently he's a big deal on YouTube. I don't know. I've heard that. Yeah, yeah. I've seen him around once or twice. <laughs> Not as big as you guys are, but yeah. Andrew's up. I think he's going. Ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Camarada here in the booth with us today. Andrew is Andrew is running as an exhibition run here. A couple more of our finalists have arrived, but they want to hold on to their time slots. They want to watch people. <laughs> Get things done here. Look at this. We're gonna. We're gonna. <laughs> That's how you piss off a film crew. I'm supposed to be videoing them. I'm sorry. I'm trying to make them focus. I love it. <laughs> I'm a bad influence around here. I'm sorry. All right, guys. It's time to see what uh, see what Andrew's got. I think he might surprise you. Might be a decent here time. Here uh, Mr. Andrew Camarada, Dumpster Dave, and Kyle Anastasio from Upstate New York were all here with us here yesterday. We had a great meet and greet here, 
And uh, Andrew's yeah, hanging around here I'm with us in the booth this morning, and he did yeah, express interest yesterday. Told and him, you're Andrew, in the Honda. Right? Okay. So all of us, all of us social media influencers, are uh, not allowed to compete for the money. So uh, we're just having having fun with these guys. And prolific YouTube channels in the construction industry with more than a million subscribers. And he's joining us here today in the Hyundai booth at Utility Expo 2023. Yeah, it's pretty cool having Andrew here this year. So, got uh, Dumpster Dave and the whole crew over here. You saw me do this yesterday. We're going to count down from three. We want to do an over under? And when I say okay. go, do an over under? Over under? <laughs> a time? Really go. I got faith in him, man. I think he's going to do good. Three, two, Here we go. one, and go. <laughs> and removes to the bowling ball. He curves that bucket right around that road cone. He hits the ball. Through the goal. Nice, nice, nice. Here. Took the road cone with it. That'll be a 15 second penalty. Onto the tire grab. For me personally, this one looks easier than what it is. But the basketball is the is the tough one. Andrew's got the the T bar, that tire between the teeth. Yeah. It's not in what I would call an optimal position, but it's in a good position. Bill's using big words. And he's he is come here very artistic. He is. And he's gonna now navigate that tire through the PVC structure. Smooth like butter, Andrew. Nice work. Yep. Andrew's going to come down. He's going to set that tire down in the orange circle now. And now the goal here, ladies and gentlemen, as we start to get a few sprinkles here in the Beat Dirt Perfect Arena, is to knock each of those softballs off individually. I got naming rights for the you arena. Like the I like the naming I rights. I like what you did there. Have you been to Derby Bill? There's not much there. I have. I've, I it's enjoy, it's, I it's me and the river. There. Andrew's, Andrew's got three of the balls off all intentionally. Oh, the fourth one there ribbed on him a little bit, and he's got it off. So far, we're going to get now to the basketball, and let's see how let's see how Mr. Camarada is at the game of basketball. I don't know why I said that so dramatically. <laughs> Andrew Camarada coming in. Oh, that was a nice grab. Nice grab. Now, let's see. This is caused again. Oh, he's oh, nice good, save. Good save, man. Andrew, like, like Mike. Oh! oh this if I disappear. Let's see how Andrew is at grabbing, grabbing the ring. He pivots, he changes direction. He wants to use that other side of the cutting tooth. Oh, he's got a, he's close. Nice snag, nice snag. Let's see how Andrew does it. Put a ring on it. Oh, come on, buddy. He's so close. I think he's going to get it here. He, he pivoted. He made a redirection here. And if he's... No! Oh! Nice snag. No! Finish your run there, Andrew. Andrew Camarada, ladies and gentlemen, as the rain starts to fall here in Louisville, Kentucky. So, Andrew, nice job, bud. Well, nice job. Nice fun. job. It was fun. All right, how many more we got left, Bill? We've got a couple of our finalists here back now. Little rain isn't going to bother us here. These microphones and some of these cameras and the electronics may not like it. <laughs> uh, but it's not going to stop us here. 
at Utility Expo 2020. I like your optimism. Those clouds are a little dark over there. <laughs> All right, we're going to round up our last two finalists, and I think if you guys sticking around, we'll see what uh, what kind of time I can put up. I'm going to turn you. I'm going to turn you back over. Oh, I had it over a thousand. Yeah, good try. <laughs> you think it was you? All right, so we're at a thousand and three. Yeah, we're at a thousand and three now right now. Oh, up. man, now nine ninety eight, but it. It's not so my fault. Going back up you got the exactly. The that's right. Around. It's going to go back up. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. See what we got. I see what it is. It starts raining, so he hands the camera back over to me. You know, and he goes over there and gets under that tent. Yeah, man. Well, that's what kind of guy he is. Now everybody knows. <laughs> All right, we'll walk over here, see what's going on. Andrew's time, I'm not for sure what it was. Um, I think it's two minutes something, maybe. I don't know. What do you think, Bill? Hello, good people. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, you know. No, uh uh. Somebody got scared. They were holding the camera and they start raining. They go over by this tent over here. Yeah, look at him. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Oh, what is this? What about this important phone I got? Go ahead, Cinderella, get under that umbrella. <laughs> there we go. Well, you, you took yourself, uh, you didn't give yourself enough credit, and here you are competing for $1,000. Oh, look, somebody's getting nervous. It's not going to win you the dollars. It's not going to win you the thousand dollars. Hop on in, though, familiarize yourself with the control. <laughs> yeah. And we'll get you going. Yeah, here. Cindy, you're right. Ray, you're right. Is there, you need to let everybody online know that we're getting wet here. It's raining pretty good. Yeah, oh, I'll let them know. Yeah. I'll let them know when I seen where you went under that canopy know, over there. Whenever you ordered the weather, like, what were you thinking? Yeah, exactly. Like, doing weather. Got good machines, and then he's got to order that. All right, let's get the feel for it yet. Turn around, Brown. I, I, I agree with you. I don't like it hurt anything. All right, ladies. Definitely, uh, definitely gonna need to pick up that cooler of beer. Finalist runs in the 2023 Beat Dirt Perfect Operator Skills Competition featuring the all new HX Compact Excavators from Hyundai Construction Equipment. Ben. As the rain begins to fall here in Newark, are you ready, sir? All right, on the count of three, we're going to count down from three. And when I say go, you give it your best. Three, two, Joy, yes, one, this is a timed go. event. Best time wins. Just gotta shift it over to the left a little bit onto the tire.
trigger grab. Ben is being aggressive. He wants that belt. He wants that thousand dollars. And what better way to do it in dramatic fashion? With rain falling, dark clouds on the skyline. What's more romantic than operating construction equipment? Look at that, Ben. Well done. Now set that tire down as close to that circle as you can. And now take those softballs off one by one, Ben. Ben putting together oh. a very good run here. We have one 10 second violation on one softball. Let's see if you can get the others here without. There we go. Now let's see how Ben is at basketball today. There we go. In the bucket. Cowboy Car Crusher, it's a thousand dollars and taking the belt from T D P. I bet you I bet you Cowboy can do this with his loader and kick all of our butts. Huh? Have you seen Cowboy run a loader? I bet you Yeah, yeah. One fifty three. Yeah. One fifty three. I had a guy in the way that prevented me from stopping it fast enough. 153 with two violations, which is going to put you at 224. Right? And then 10 seconds from softball, 234. Yeah, yeah, let's dig might be doing that, Jeff. No, oh my, yeah, I can't believe this. DP out there helping get the course set up. Yeah, there are umbrellas starting to come out. It is starting to come down a little harder. But you see where DP's standing under the canopy. Hey, what's up? Some other buddies. How's it going? You enjoying the show? <laughs> oh, it's starting to rain. They won't let me play. They don't want me to take the belt. <laughs> yeah, weather got nasty now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you guys make it through much? Or just get down here. Uh, we got down here about eight thirty. Eight thirty. We were in there, fucking like, around, then we come out here. Yeah. We just get over here and it's once it started raining. Yeah. 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 Yesterday was a beautiful day. It was nice. We did our walk through on everything yesterday. Wish I could go ahead. I had to ride a, uh, I had to ride the bull last night. Yeah, it was, it was my birthday. April came a lot earlier than I thought it was gonna come. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. I think I'm gonna have to take this over to him for a second. It, yeah, it's his phone. I don't care if it gets wet. Sad part is, had all my clothes, and I ain't got no clothes change into, so I'm gonna have to walk around wet all day. Yeah. Luke, why don't you join me out yeah. here, sir? You wanna get in this? We have one of our Take official walk on. here. It's good one. raining hard enough now that our camera. Thousand dollars cash and a nice big belt over We're there. Uh, Match no joke, Luke Johnny Pope. <laughs> Fort Payne, Alabama. Uh, Luke, what made you come out here and try the competition this week? Tried to out your boss, and, and, and have you succeeded in that so far? I mean, 
we did. We don't. There's bragging rights right there. We almost don't need to do the rest of the competition. Man, Luke, how do you feel? There's going an umbrella the laying over there on the ground. Right, Luke, I might need to steal that. Yeah. Give it a go here in a second. Yeah, I lied. So yesterday I was practicing. They were doing the qualifying. Time was like uh, two minutes, 58 seconds. I told Mike, I said, yeah, I didn't do too bad. I said, with my penalties, I was at a minute 58. I didn't want to tell him the truth. <laughs> <laughs> he has no clue. Now they'll know. You'll see how easy it is now. Luke, it ain't hard. You can do it. Like you're ready to give it a run. <laughs> Luke is in the starting position. Just like yesterday, Luke, I'm going to count down from three. And when you hear me say go, that's your sign to go. All right, Luke. Three, two, one, and go. Oh, don't hit that cone. Thank you all for sticking with us. A little rain never hurt anybody. Might hurt this microphone, might hurt that camera, but it's not going to hurt any of us. Getting that bowling ball in position. He's got it through the goal. He's just got to kick it over to the left here now a little bit, and then he can move on to the tire grab. There we go. Go on, grab that tire now, Luke. Cool hand, Luke. He's gonna grab that tire. He's now, we're gonna to switch to the golf voice now. He's gonna move that tire smoothly through the PVC structure. Yesterday, you should have seen some of these. So they about crushed that PVC pipe, some of these people. <laughs> now yesterday, I don't know if it was just the heat made that more flimsy, but this was uh, this was one of the hardest things to do, knock these off. Oh, oh see, unforgiving, I, unforgiving. So you gotta knock them off one, one at a time. One 10 second penalty there or you get the a penalty. softball drop. But he's got the other three very intentionally knocked off. There we go, on to the basketball. Let's see how Luke does at basketball today. Alabama's a state known more for its football. Let's see how he does at basketball. He's got it in the bucket. And he got oh. two aggressive basketballs down on the ground and we're on to the ring grab. And he, yep. Luke with a run of, I'm going to give him a two minute run. I was a little slow on the stop button there. Two minute run with a 15 second penalty on the basketball, 10 second penalty on the softball, 15 second penalty on the ring grab. That's going to give Luke a score of 241.06. I'm still alive. 2,000 people, 2,000 people. I know it, and you are too. I see you going over there, sticking your head under there. Are you up yet? Are you up yet? I say we do a last call and then let you go. What do you guys think? They're tired of seeing me get wet. Did you make your way to the booth here yet? We're looking for Clay Gilliland, one of our additional finalists. Mike, as we get closer here, where did Mike go? As we get closer here for you to make your run, it is now raining here. There's dirt sticking to that old bowling ball there. How are you feeling here at the night? 
I I don't know about them too. I wasn't on them that them they do. And we we're we we're up in Here while we wait Same for size a couple that, more yeah. finalists to arrive at their appointed times. We're up there and we got We've got another oh, well, Chris did. exhibition run the right 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 now. Now. Gentleman now, by the name of Josh Mendel. He's been watching these folks do yeah. this. All right, guys, we're going to try to hold out here, see what we got. We got the peanut gallery. It is actually raining pretty hard here, so. Dirt perfect don't care. Dirt perfect likes the rain. Some days, Bill. Some days. Some days. Some days. These guys are all smart enough to stand underneath the tent. Right. I'm out here in the, out here in the rain. I'm sorry. Josh. Josh. Not that. Josh Bendel. No. We got Josh, the, uh, we got the Hyundai team ready. back here. Give it a go and you're ready to go. Say hi to everybody. From three, Josh. And when I say go, let's see how you stack up against our finalists here today. Three. Oh, sorry, two, guys. Sorry, one, sorry, sorry. Go. This is one of our finals. We'll see what he's got. He gave that bowling ball a little knock. Gave a little knock. The rain is definitely starting to come down. Mary's still standing out there in the rain. Goal, just about, and then he's got to get it through and over. He ain't scared, he said. Through and over. There you go. Nice, right. nice, Josh, nice. Onto the tire grab. It's raining. How do you feel like? I don't know why I love tormenting the camera crew, but I do. T bar. We get the he's same shot. He's swinging, but he's got a T-bar. Yep. Oh, See, we, we should get back to the action. Every time I start talking about T-bar positioning, that happens. We're excavating in the rain. We're excavating in the We've rain. We've been getting video. We've been saying hi to everybody's camera. So everybody say hi to Andrew's camera. He's got a good You had a good time right in Louisville, bud? It's been awesome, hasn't it? Josh, Other than the weather, it's been. It's always yeah, something with the weather. I think you've got it worse in New York than we got it here. You guys seem to get a lot of extremes. It's one way or the other. Giving that PVC pipe to the loving. And he's through. Josh is going to set that tire now down over here as close to the orange circle as he can. The good news about the rain is at least it'll knock down, and he's knock down a little go, bit of the he's dust. Gonna knock, he's going to knock the balls off each of the four corner posts now. Look at that. That's right. Service, buddy. That's service right there. Man, now let's see how Josh does it. Yeah. Now. Josh is going to grab that basketball. Glad you could join us. Yeah. He's got it. Let's see if he can do what so many have been unable to do today. See if he can do Oh, yep, bad right. bounce. That's my fault. I'd get you guys the close-up shot, but I'm not quite as uh, not quite as committed as what uh, Aaron see how is. Josh does with that cutting tooth on the side of the bucket there. He no. snags it. Now let's see if Josh chooses to give it a go or he's going to put it That's down. It's going to be a decent time. Decent Josh time. with a score at 230. Yo. I know that machine. With two softball penalties. <laughs> no, no. We should probably be worried about Bill, huh? Yeah. He'll survive. Yeah. Yeah. He'll survive. That's going to give you Bill's, a time. Bill's trying to do math over there. I think he's struggling. Yeah. Josh, I think I, uh, I, think I can top that. We love your concentration yeah. math skills, Bill. What's the rundown? We got... If uh, a Clay Gilliland, Luke Adams, or Jason Scott are in the area, 
You are our three final finalists before Dirt Perfect himself gives this course a run. You know, the weather did say something about blowing and gusting and raining. But I'll tell you can what, I Can I wait the ring? Can you do what? Can I put a weight on the ring oh, so no, I don't blow? No okay. on the ring. It's I getting, thought this was make the rules up as you go, it's Bill. It's getting heavier as it gets rained on and caked in more dirt. This is true. This is true. I've been li live for over 90 minutes. We still got to look down. That's awesome. I'm going to take just a moment here to appreciate the two gentlemen walking down the aisle right now. Everybody give them a round of applause. It's raining. They don't care. They're in shorts. You tell me, 2023. Woo! Love you guys so much. Yes, sir. Tony, I'm Bill. I'm going to talk a little shit. <laughs> he's not worried. He's not worried about beating me. He's just got to beat his buddy. <laughs> That's probably more valuable than the uh, money, anyways. You know, yeah. going home with bragging rights, especially if you got a long drive, because he's going to be jarring, you know, the whole way home. After Tony, I know Clay, Clay said he's coming. But after Tony, if Clay's not here, it's going to be your time. It's going to be my time. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is our last, uh, is this our last finalist? This is it. Yes, sir. Right here. All right, so we got a couple more gentlemen, but we haven't heard from them, and, and so they. We're gonna let we're gonna let Clay give it a go, and then we're gonna do it, Bill. And then we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Look at the crowd we still have with the rain. But before we do that, Mike brings a good point. Thank you guys so much for sticking with us and hanging out with us in the rain. Clay Gillian, one of our finalists, has arrived. But before we get to Clay, we've got a little bit of a grudge here. Tony wants to prove that he can beat his buddy's score, which was with penalties, three minutes and 10 seconds. Tony, you saw how things went down here. I'm gonna count down from three, and when I do, I'm gonna say go, and when I say go, Bill's dropping you money. can give the course and everything you got. <laughs> All right, Tony, three, two, one, and go. Again, folks, this is an exhibition. I feel like we've done a good job here this week of fostering good competition and relationships between coworkers <laughs> who want to do nothing but just beat each other. Just study the balls, how they're getting dirty. All right, you're through, Tony. We're going to allow that. You go on now and grab that. It's also going to affect rolling ability. Yeah, it's I can see you go out there and put a big wad of mud on one side of the ball, you know. Not today, DP. Yeah. <laughs> Tony's now going to navigate that tire through the PBC structure, utilizing the all-new Hyundai. I sure appreciate HX you guys hanging out. 48. Stephanie, I appreciate the, that. The new standard in compact. Poor equipment. little Aaron. Denver he's going to set that tire down. Right and when he does, he's going to go knock those four oh, softballs YouTubers off. YouTubers are not eligible to compete because they're competing structure. for money, trying to keep it fair. We all have had to run some times and had our own family friendly competition amongst each we've other. Got one. Like I said, if you guys we've are just two. watching. We've got oh, three. Oh, that's a new one. Stuck in the teeth. We got four. He's going to get the fourth. All right, out of the basketball, Tony. Tony's running an error free run so far. Why did you why did you jinx him, Bill? Why did you jinx him? And oh, there you go, Bill. Bill. Out of the ring grab. We'll play that old Bill. Yeah. Expertly done. He's repositioning that ring into a position that he wants it. <laughs> Tony, 
I'd go get you a close up, but it's running even harder. Whoa! Now you can make a decision. Either go for it or put the bucket down. He's going to put the bucket down. 158. I think. Add a 15 second penalty. That's going to put you. That's the walk of shame. Yeah. You have successfully beat your coworker there. How do you feel about that, Tony? Not too upset about it. That's that's, that's the spirit, that's folks. That's what we're doing out here in the Hyundai booth here this week. Good competition. Good clean fun. Good clean fun. All right, Bill. We got uh, one last finalist. We got Clay Gillian here as our last official finalist here. That's going to give it a go, and then uh, then we're going to give it. A, then we're going to you know see how you do yourself. While we're in the rain here, we'll see. Clay, how are you feeling about competing here today? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think the no rain problems at all? You got this. No. Do you think that the rain is gonna help you or hinder you here today? Missouri Law, Randy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. He just gave us twenty bucks for a towel to dry on. Oh, yeah. Just a second here. We're gonna make sure the course is set up. If you want to hop in and make sure you're in the pattern you like, hop on in. We'll get going here. Somebody wanna know if that was Luke Combs. <laughs> 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 oh. All right, guys, after uh, Clay, was that his name? Yep. I'm horrible with the name. Up. Luke Combs. And then you. And it's yeah. me. And it's me. We'll yeah. find out. We'll yeah. find out. I think Bill is sabotaging the course out there. I'm not sabotaging anything. Randy gave us 20 bucks for a towel to dry off. Oh, did you he? should thank Randy. Thank you, Randy. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'm going to see that towel. <laughs> <laughs> At least you know about it, Bill. At least you know about it. Yeah, that's the important part. I'm trying to do my best to get the comments, Actually, guys. I apologize. A little, a, a little bit of a break in the rain. It's oh, not raining quite I know who's hard. coming up next. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, that's what I'm going sure. with. Yep. How you feeling? You ready to give it a go? All right, we're going to do just like we did yesterday, Clay. I'm going to count down from three. And when I say go, you give us your best run here now right. in the Beat Dirt Perfect Operating Skills Challenge Finals. Three, two, one, and go. I see you're much more committed than the other camera guy. <laughs> We're going to have to talk with him, anyway. Clay not messing around. He's got that mud cake bowling ball. Through the goal. Now he's got to get over. There you go. Nice. Right. grab. It's almost time, guys. It's almost time for the dirt perfect run. See what we got. What's this? Oh, okay, I'm not going to make fun of you no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I was making fun of you because you were over in the tent. And he was out here in the rain. Now, now you're sharing your umbrella, so I'll let it, I'll let it go. I'll let it go. Yeah. Look at that fancy camera stuff these guys use. Ain't that crazy? You guys are on a poor iPhone 8 that's all busted up. It's still going, though. The battery hasn't died yet. <laughs> oh. We're going to get a judge's ruling on this after the fact, but I am going to put the basketball back on and give Clay an opportunity here to grab that basketball and get in the five gallon bucket. All right, guys, it is just about, just about go time. Clay's got the basketball in the bucket. Let's see if he can get it into the five gallon bucket. And oh, nice. Sink that basketball. Now let's uh, see how he does with the ring grab here today. He's got a pretty good time going. Yeah, he does. Oh, I missed it too. He's going to give it a go. He's going to try to grab it there out of the dirt. Oh, we're going full on dig mode. And use one of <laughs> All right. All right, man, behind the scenes. All right. I got to hand my people back to you. 
Get to, you ready to go? Yeah, okay, I'm ready. All right, here we go. We're gonna see what, we're gonna see what happens. Let's go. Hey Bill, you don't mind go ahead and call the rain off so I can come back out and film. Oh. I'm going to give a penalty on the basketball. Just one. One softball. I'm going to give a penalty on the basketball. All right. Charles, you think he's going to be able to keep his belt? Hey, they're saying no pressure, Mike. No pressure. Our yes. friend Jessica, who wasn't able to join us today for being sick, she's watching us on your channel. All right. I don't know if Jessica approved. Let us know. Yeah. Comment, you know, she was supposed to actually, she's more talented than me at this. Yeah. Hi, Jessica. Good to see you. Yeah. We got rained on and we, we lost the microphone due to the rain. So yeah. A, Bill said he'd be halftime entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Luckily, the shirt is blue. Bill, this is, this Bill, like one thing coach, you can't this do. Like the coach to call a timeout right before a big play. You know it is. Mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Bill, you got to keep the trash talking going just because it's him. No, you no, know, you keep it going. Careful. Yep. All competitors get the same treatment. Ray, uh, I don't know who it was asked, but uh, yeah, no, Chris didn't make qualifications. His time was too bad. So he didn't really get disqualified. He just didn't make it. Man, you're a trooper. You're still out here. You got that. <laughs> hey, I did. I took my 15 minute morning break. <laughs> Hot. Yeah, I thought that might help a little bit, but I think I had more water running down it on my shoulder than uh, what it was protecting me. Hopefully, like right now, I'm hoping they get things rolling. They, they had a speaker malfunction, and they're trying to get it figured out now. So, yeah, yeah, yeah everything working for him, yeah. But I told him, I said, hey, I told Bill, I said, Bill, you got to keep trash talking up. You got to treat all, all opponents equally. So... Yeah, yeah. Uh, no intermission yet. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, right. He didn't make it through qualifications. His time was a little too high to make it on. But you didn't hear me say that. Hey, Jessica did say that she misses you guys. <laughs> Right? <laughs> 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 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so we've got a little bit of a jury rigged uh, microphone system up here. Uh, you thought that was an That's great. <laughs> Hey, Bill. You know, I'm not worried about that mic not working. Just make sure that stop clock over there don't stop working and he gets a time of like 30 seconds. I will, I will make sure we, uh, <laughs> we have a good start on this one. Uh. So just to catch everybody up here a little bit, Where's Daniel Castro? Is Daniel Castro still standing around? I thought I saw Daniel just a moment ago. So Daniel, there's Daniel. Daniel was our 11th place finisher yesterday, but because a couple of additional finalists did not arrive, we allowed Daniel Man, to be as a finalist time, today. Yeah. And so Under far, two minutes. Daniel has the time. Nah. <laughs> No, I shouldn't talk bad about him. I, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, with penalties, it's gonna be 208. I'm gonna go 208 now. Yeah, 208. What's time to beat? It's under two minutes. I think. Under two minutes. Oh. Up oh, here we are. Just like every other competitor here today, Mike. I'm gonna count down from three, and when I say go. You give it everything you got, right, sir. Got to be, what, 151? And we'll see uh, once and for all. Yeah. Yeah. Will someone be uh, perfect? Here we go. Three, two, and we're one, off. and go. And he goes. Easy. Seven through. On that dirty oh, he that dirty oh, he did oh, good there. Yep. I expected that bowling ball. Oh. Here he comes. He's going to move that tire through. He's the, shaking a little bit. The structure. He nice. does so quickly. Oh, that was nice. Mike will now set it down as close to that. Don't make his head swell. All of the jokes There's aside about this being rigged against there. him, I can confirm Mike has not been out here running and testing this course. He's been observing. But this is his first clean run through the course. He's got all four balls off cleanly. He's on to the basketball. Boy from Indiana should be pretty good at basketball. He's got it in the bucket. Now can he get it in the second bucket? This has been the toughest challenge of the day, and he does. Oh. Mike's on to the ring. Mike's onto the ring. Let's see if he can slip it onto that road cone now. Sorry, guys. Try my best. Mike with it on the road cone. Get that bucket down, Mike, in the spot. <laughs> One thirty-two forty-eight. Oh. Oh. The winner of the In the hometown of Derby, Indiana. Help. Mr. Mike Simon, Derby, perfect, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Hey, they want you up on the fence. Oh, yeah. <laughs> With a with a All time, right. and I, I will emphasize a error-free time of one thirty-two forty-eight.
Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. About 258 yesterday wasn't so hot anymore. <laughs> Events. Absolutely, that's the whole goal behind this. Obviously, I'm not eligible for the money, but we come here for the bragging rights, baby. That's what we got. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Simon taking home the belt. Daniel Castro taking home the thousand dollars. On the top of my head, I can't remember who's in second place for the $500, but we'll get down to that in a minute. Thank you all for joining us here at the 2023 Utility Expo Operators Competition. We'll have a closing ceremony here in just a moment. Thank you all. All right, there you have it, folks. He got lucky. All right. All right. Well, thank you, everybody that hung on there. They've been on there for like almost two hours. Uh, yeah, yeah, probably. I don't even know how much time. We're up to 1122. Uh, <laughs> thanks, yeah. thanks for everybody watching and supporting. Huge thanks to everybody at Hyundai for putting this on. Huge thanks to everybody that stayed here in the crowd. Yeah. The crowd. Yeah. If Huge thanks to everybody in the crowd that stayed here that and watched. In the area. Yeah. yeah. Finalists. Yep. Good, awesome. Good deal. In the so. tent. We're going to we'll let them go, man. Thank ceremony. you guys so right. much. Thank ceremony. you so much. You know how to turn that off? No, I don't know how to do that. All right. An X up here don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Okay. An X in the corner. <laughs> here we go.